Hello Capricorns. Good to be back. So I'm going to see what's going on with you guys, just whatever the cards want to say. And as always, if you want a private reading from me, just email me. My email is dragonenchantress at awol.com, and that email is right below in the description box below this video. My donation links are also below. I really appreci appreciate donations. Um, links are in the description box. And uh, please like, share, comment, subscribe. Maybe someone on your, your um, social media page needs to hear this, so I appreciate you guys sharing and subscribing to me. Okay, let's get into it. So what do you guys need to know? The world, okay, so a cycle ending. The moon. Cycle ending possibly with this full moon that we're in right now. Queen of Wands. Seven of Pentacles. The Queen of Pentacles, okay. I feel like your hard work's about to pay off here, is what I'm feeling. I'm sure you're probably tired of hearing that. <laughs> probably like, when are my ships coming in for real? Stop saying it. Stop saying if if they're not here. No, but it really does feel like there's a shift here. It feels like you've been the queen of wands. Like, you're stepping into your power, and it's like you're working hard for something. And this could be male or female. Could be a male and queen of pentacles energy. Just take it as it resonates. But it feels like you're, like, stepping into your power, and because of this, it's like you're you're fighting for something here. And I feel like you're gonna be financially abundant. Like you're gonna have some kind of some kind of leveling up here is what I'm feeling. Yeah, six of pentacles. I feel like you've also been generous um, with your resources, with your time, with your energy in the past. And I think you're gonna be rewarded for that. Seven of Cups. I also feel like you're going to need to find a balance. Like you're going to need to um, decide what to give your energy to because there's a lot of different options for you right now. It's like the world is your oyster, but you kind of have to decide what you want and you don't want to lose balance um, because there is something that you need to hold on to and something you need to let go of. Sorry. This could also be regarding love. This could be juggling two people and you need to kind of decide which one do you want to keep, which one do you want to let go of. This could be about jobs as well. It just feels like there's like an energy here where it's like an imbalance. Four of Pentacles is almost like the opposite of Five of Cups. Four of Pentacles, it's like almost like hoarding. It's like, you know, holding on too tightly to something. Five of Cups is about letting something go, letting that ship sail away. The sun, yeah. Yeah, you need that balance. You need to decide what to hold on to and what to let go of. Because I really feel like there's like a, for some of you, you need to clean your house, <laughs> clean your house or clean your apartment. There's, um, God, for someone I'm seeing like an old jewelry box that you need to throw away, but you know, you need to throw it away. This isn't like a random box. It's like almost like something tied to like bad memories and you know, you need to burn it. Because I'm just getting for some of you, like, you have, like, your house is stagnant. Does that make sense? Like, you, like, your house is, like, dirty or stagnant. Like, it's, like, it's, like, you have old stuff to get rid of. You're holding on to stuff, and it's time to get rid of certain things that are just not serving you anymore, you know? And if you're, if you're, like, a minimalist and you don't even have that much, then this isn't for you. That message specifically is not for you. Don't try to make it fit if it doesn't resonate. This would be someone that's, like, been hoarding clothes or and shoes for like years and years and like you never get rid of anything you know and like you don't have room in your closet anymore like you've had to like fill the guest closet with all your stuff you know that it, that that's that's for this kind of person that's that message you know what i mean it's not for a minimalist this is someone like you know that you need to get rid of stuff and i feel like it's it's creating like this stagnant it's like the feng shui is off like the, there's stagnant energy in your house that needs to be cleared up that's just for a few of you not for all of you but, um, but yeah, it's like you got to kind of decide what to let go of and what to hold on to because I feel like you're just, you've kind of been imbalanced. It's like you don't know where to go and you have to just kind of trust it, you know, and go with your intuition because you're going to start, it's like almost like you're, you're being held back or like you're holding yourself back because you're afraid of stepping out of your comfort zone. It's like you don't know, it's like you just don't know what to let go of and what to hold on to. And once you decide, once you're like, you know what, I'm going to stick to this path, it's like I think the road is going to open up for you. You have the sun, which is the most positive card in the deck. The high priestess, yeah, also becoming the high priestess. Angel de la Nute is the, um, the light after period of darkness. And the, the king of cups coming in. That's a really beautiful couple too, the high priestess and the king of cups. It's an intuitive, uh, empowered, you know, feminine energy, male or female. Just someone who's intuitive, who's knowledgeable, who's just in their power. 
And the King of Cups is someone in a more masculine energy, male or female, that's, you know, mature, emotional, um, wise, vulnerable. You know, this is a really beautiful match here. And I feel like... God, some of you, it's like Southern of Cups energy is like, is like too many options. And like, you're, you're stuck with all these options. Like you're not sure where to go. And I almost feel like some of you are like holding on to exes when you should just be letting all the exes go and just manifesting new love, you know? It's like some of you are just, it's like you're holding yourself back. I know you're not meaning to, but it's like you get so lost in these different options and not knowing where to go next that it's like you just kind of have to take the first step. You don't have to see the whole staircase. You just need to take that step. You just need to move forward. You know, five of cups on the sun. And we have the four of pentacles. It's like, you know, make that decision. What you want to let go of and what you want to hold on to. And I think once you do, you're going to have love coming in, whether it's, you know, you could be letting go of everybody. You could be letting go of all your exes and manifesting new love, you know, or you could have two different people that you're juggling that you're not sure about. And one of them is, you know, much better for you. And then the, the second one is just kind of toxic. And it's like, once you let the toxic one go, it, it creates room for this other relationship to evolve. But right now it's like, you want quality over quantity you know what I mean it's like you have the quantity but you don't have the quality you just have these different options but you know you need to kind of move yourself forward is what I'm feeling to a yeah you've been juggling two of pentacles the lovers yeah some of you are ju juggling love once you stop juggling and make a decision that you've got ten of pentacles you've got true love you've got everything five of pentacles the knight of pentacles the three of cups I almost feel like some of you are in a stagnant situation, like job-wise or career-wise, and you're not feeling it anymore. Like it's not resonating with you, but you're afraid of like poverty or like not being financially stable. Like it's not bringing you the money that you need, but you're, it's like your comfort zone. You're used to it. But I feel like once you let go of it, you can actually have fun and like have a job that actually pays you well. You know, for some of you, it's like you've been stuck in this nine to five job and like intuitively you feel like you need to find something better. But you're, it's like, I think you've been in it so long that you're just worried that something better won't come in or you're just, it's like, you just feel like the sense of like uncertainty. Like, well, I, you know, I've been here five years or I've been here 10 years. Like maybe I'll get that promotion next year. Or like I was promised last year, but it never came through. Maybe if I do this, maybe if I do that. And it's like, intuitively, you know that you should just go. It's like, you've already wasted a lot of time here and it hasn't brought you the, the success that you want. So I really feel like once you stop juggling these, you know, things that you know intuitively it's time to let go of, that's when your life is going to open up. Because I almost feel like you're waiting. It's like you're waiting for an answer and like your spirit guides are saying the answer is within you. You know what I mean? It's like, it's it's not like right or wrong. It's just, it's your life. What do you want? You know, like if you have this job that's burning you out, they're they're not gonna stop you. If you want to keep working that job, they're not gonna. And I know it's I know it's easier said than done. I know you can't just up and quit. Like you got bills to pay, you got probably a, a house to pay for. What you know, I get it. But it's just one of those situations where I think they want you to step into your power and take control of your life and use your intuition. They don't want you to always rely on them or rely on outside opinions. You know, they don't want you to be too impressionable. They want you to kind of go inward and decide like what's right for you. If you want to work this job another year, two years, you can. But if your intuition is saying like, hey, you know, quit this job. I know it's scary. I know it's your comfort zone, but there's, you need to have fun again. You need to live your life and you need to bring something else in, into the picture now. Then, you know, I would do that. I, I would, I would do that because it, it's kind of like you just need to get out of limbo. You just need to kind of commit to something one way or the other is what I'm feeling. I just feel like a lot of you are just kind of like, it's like you have so many options and you're just kind of stuck. And I almost feel like you overwhelm yourself with the options. Like it's like you might want to start a new business or a new hobby and it's like you overwhelm yourself wanting to do this and this and this. Or it's like with your new business, it's like you, you know, you have to do the paperwork and you have to practice and you have to do this and that. And it's like you end up not taking that first step because it's overwhelming. So it's like, just take the first step. You don't need to see the whole, the full staircase. If you have 10 different hobbies you're considering pursuing, 
just just pick one and stick to that and pursue that. And then once you have that mastered or once you feel, you know, confident that you have, you know, a healthy habit like doing yoga or whatever that you're just doing it naturally all the time, then then go to that second hobby. But I feel like some of you are like overwhelming yourself wanting to do this and that and the other, be it with hobbies, career, even with love. And it's like then you just don't you end up, you know, you end up getting overwhelmed and not doing anything. You end up just stagnant. And so it's like you really need to get out of the seven of cups energy. You need to get out of that that energy of having so many options and like not knowing where to go and just being stuck in limbo and not knowing what to do next. You know, you need to kind of just make that commitment like, okay, I can't pursue all 10 hobbies, but I can get a notebook and I can write down my different hobbies and I can pursue this one um, this for the next two months. And then the second, you know, my my second most in a hobby that I'm most interested in. I'll pursue that one after I, after the, after the two months is, is over, you know, something like just kind of make some kind of plan. Just, just take that first step. Just go to that class, sign those documents. Well, no, not during Mercury retrograde <laughs> after, after retrograde is over, sign the documents, <laughs> um, you know, end that relationship that that's not that first date or second that you went on where they were kind of scummy and you got a bad feeling about them. Just, you know what I mean? Like, just make those decisions. Um, for some of you, I feel like you have stuff in your house, too, that you don't even really want. But you're like, oh, what if I get rid of it and I want it again? It's like, just if it's been in your closet for a year and you haven't touched it, you're probably not going to touch it. Just just get rid of it. You know what I mean? I, I know it's I know it's not easy. I know it's stressful. Don't get me wrong. But I just feel like you know, you're looking to your spirit guides for answers and the answers are within you. They're telling you like, hey, like this is your life. The world is your oyster. It's up to you. What do you want to do? Like you have options, but if you stay in the Southern of Cups energy and you're just overthinking things and not moving forward, you know, with, with any of the options, then you're just going to stay stuck and stagnant. And so it's like you kind of have to pull yourself out of that and you have to take the first step, even though it's not easy. And for some, that means, you know, applying to new jobs because some of you are in a toxic job that you don't want to be in anymore, but you're not sure how to get out of it. Yeah, because you feel controlled. It's like, it feels like stress, heartbreak. You feel trapped, controlled by maybe like a manager or a boss for some of you. Like there's, if you want that balance, but it's like, you got to go forward. You got to get out of that energy. You got to get out of that situation. I hope that makes sense. Um... else yeah I mean I don't know what else to say about it it just feels like it's just it's like it's up to you you know what I mean and I feel like you're like waiting for something to happen like you're waiting almost like you know not self-sabotage but almost like oh well if I got fired then I you know it would suck but at least I'd be free at least like like you want someone else to make the decision for you and your spirit guides are kind of saying no like you got to make this decision you know what I mean like you have to get yourself out of this energy you have to take those steps forward um, you know, when you do that, like when you really, you know, take that, you know, start, go to that class, you know, pursue that hobby, um, even make, even if you need like a notebook to like list all the things you want to do so that you don't get so overwhelmed, that works too. You know, if you're like, if you're starting a new business, don't just, don't just keep it all in your head, get a notebook and list all the things you need to do and take them one at a time. I feel like a lot of you are like approaching how do I explain this? It's like you're approaching things in a way that isn't natural for you. Like maybe some of you are neurodivergent and you're trying to approach things the way society would approach them. Does that make sense? I probably worded that in a weird way. But like, let's say like starting a business. Like there's probably a lot of people that start businesses and they do it this way. They have like a set plan that they follow. That might not work for you. That You know what I mean? Like it might not... You need to learn, you need to figure yourself out. You need to know what your learning style is. You feel me? Like you need to learn, you know, are you a visual learner? Are you an auditory learner? Like you need to really learn what is best for you and stick to that. It's really important. And, you know, do what you need to, for, for your business, do what you need to do. Maybe you need to get a notebook and write it out and do things differently than most people would do it. You know what I mean? Like, just do it however feels right for you. I think the point is just that you get started, that you do something, that you make this, you bring all this energy out of your head and out of the spirit realm and manifest it physically finally. 
you know, because your spirit guides, it's like you're wanting them to answer it and do it for you. And they're honestly, that sounds harsh. I'm sorry. I didn't mean it like in a harsh way because they love you and they're supporting you. I'm not saying, you know, I don't want anyone to feel like their spirit guides aren't supporting them. Like they're supporting you, but they just really want you to step into your power and trust yourself and trust your intuition and really do what's right for you. You know, I think it's kind of like a lesson in not being impressionable, not listening to others' opinions. It's like, it doesn't matter if it's right for society. What matters is if it's right for you. You know what I mean? Like it might, what works for everyone else might not work for you. You might have a nine to five job that the average person would just love. But if you're not happy there, then it doesn't matter what other people think of it. That's your job that you have to live with. So maybe go and pursue art or pursue music or pursue something else that just resonates with you more. You know, in addition to like finding a new job that maybe, I don't know, working at an animal shelter or working somewhere that just nurtures your spirit more. Because I feel like a lot of you have these jobs that are just draining you, like they're just exhausting you. And I feel like if you step away from that, you're, you know, if you find something that just resonates with you more, I feel like you're going to be a lot happier. But it's, it's like you got to take that first step. It's you know, you're not going to get fired. I don't think you're going to get fired. I don't think that the universe is going to plop the opportunity into your lap. You're, you're going to have to go make resumes and go apply at places. And then, you know, that's going to show the universe that you're serious about these changes and they're going to open those doors for you. But, but yeah, when you get out of the seven of cups energy, when you really take yourself out of that energy and you, um, finally make some decisions and, you know, manifest this energy and just take that first step in the physical world and just, you know, cut out the things and get rid of the things that are no longer serving you and really finally commit to moving forward and to choosing a path here. I feel like, and like I said, you don't have to have it all figured out. Like if you're considering different things, like then maybe take a couple classes to, to get a feel for it. Just, you got, just got to take that first step. But, um, but yeah, once you do that, I feel like everything's going to manifest for you, love, money, everything. It's like, it's all going to come in once you just make that effort. You know what I mean? So I hope that makes sense. Um, as always, if you want a private reading, just email me. And um, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe.